Hello all, welcome to part three of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I'm going to explain what is BDD. So let's get started. BDD stands for Behavior Driven Development. So what does BDD stands for? BDD, in short, okay, it's short form, okay? It actually stands for Behavior Driven Development. Behavior Driven Development, okay? Development. BDD stands for Behavior Driven Development, okay? So, in the previous sessions, I covered what is cucumber and uh, the cucumber I mentioned as a framework or tool which will support us to implement BDD, that is behavior driven development in our projects. And I told you that apart from cucumber framework or tool, we have several other tools which I covered in the previous session, okay, for implementing or supporting BDD in the projects. Now, I am covering what is BDD. If you don't understand what is BDD, you can understand. You cannot understand what is Cucumber and the other BDD tools, okay? First, you have to understand what is BDD. First of all, BDD stands for Behavior Driven Development. To understand this Behavior Driven Development, we need to compare this BDD with traditional development. So let me compare the BDD, that is Behavior Driven Development with the traditional development, okay? So that you can understand what exactly is BDD and all those stuff, okay? So on the right side, so on the right side, I'll write down behavior driven development. Okay. And on the left side, I'll write down traditional development. Okay. On the left side, I'm writing traditional development. And on the right side, I'm writing behavior driven development. So what is the difference? So what is the difference between the traditional development and behavior driven development? So coming to the traditional development. First, coming to the traditional development, what happens is the client or the client side team, business team will share some documents, okay? The BA from the client side or PO from the client side will be sharing some requirements, okay? Mostly in the form of BRS document or in other forms also depending on the project, okay? They may share a single document containing all the requirements, okay? This BRS, okay? business requirements specification okay they may share now this brs which containing the requirements given by the client business analyst and uh, po people whatever who are sharing this brs will be shared to the project team where the project team contains developers and testers okay in the project who will be there developers and testers will be there developers will be developing the required or to be intended application using this requirement specified or given by the client in this BRS document. Whereas testers will use the same requirements to check whether developers have developed the application correctly or not as per the requirements or not. Okay, this is what is a general process. Okay, this is what is a general process. But here, if you talk about the communication between the client team or the client business team, whatever you can say, okay, client business team and the developers and testers, if you see the communication, this communication is only at the initial point of time. Okay. This communication is generally performed more in the beginning of the project when BRS document is shared, right? Then developers and testers will go through this BRS document. They may ask some doubts and uh, be, this client side business team will clear the doubts of the developers and testers and that's it. The communication is ended. And during the development process once the questions are asked and all during the development of the project during the testing uh, during the project development and testing okay so this communication will not be so much okay very basic communication will be there okay the client side business team will not be responding much only in the beginning they will give you the kt they will give you the requirements they will uh, they will clarify your questions okay but during the project this communication will vanish over a period of time and developers and testers have to struggle a lot because they don't get much communication from the client side business team. Okay, here communication is not given the, here communication is there. I'm not saying that communication is not there in the traditional development. I'm saying that communication is there in the traditional development, but the focus is not there. The, the main focus is not on the communication, but rather what is the main focus? 
in this traditional development. So basic initial communication will be there. After that, the developers, okay, will focus on, not on the communication, they'll focus on technicalities, like uh, which architecture, development architecture we have to use for developing the software, then which tools we have to use for developing, what are the skills required for developing the software that is uh, requested by the client in the PRS document as per the requirements, Okay, how many resources, count of resources required, type of resources required, okay? All this stuff, timeline, in how much time we have to develop, okay? And all those stuff. Here, less importance is given to the communication and more importance is given to the architecture, tools, skills, technical discount of resources, timeline, etc. Okay, that's what is the traditional development. Mostly, if your project follows the traditional development, because of this less communication, less importance is given to the communication. Communication will be there, but depending on the project to project here, uh, communication is not enforced, okay? Uh, communication is not enforced much. Communication is there, but it's not enforced much. Because of this model, what happens is, there is a possibility that the client may not communicate something to the developers and testers, or te te developers and testers may not communicate properly with the client business team because of which developers and testers may uh, produce a wrong product. Client may ask something, but developers and testers will produce something. That may happen because communication is not enforced much. Okay, it not happens in all the projects, guys. I'm again saying in traditional projects, there may be some successful projects also where right products are also developed and delivered. But since in traditional development, since communication is not enforced in the projects which are not, okay, in the in, in some projects, in tra some traditional projects, uh, in few of the projects, we can say when the client business team is not active and not doing the communication with, well with the developers and testers because of not enforcing the communication, there's a possibility that developers and testers may get these requirements in a different uh, format. They may, they may understand the requirements in a different way and they may produce their own product. There's a possibility. I'm not saying this will be compulsory. This is possibility I'm saying in traditional development projects, okay, in the projects following the de uh, traditional development approach, there's a possibility of wrong product getting de uh, delivered, okay, how? So for that, I'll show you one image, guys, okay, I just have this image, uh, just see what the client is asking and what the, the project team, that is developers and testers have developed to the client, delivered to the client. You see, what the customer wanted, what the client or customer wanted, the business team or the client or customer wanted to develop this okay this one as you can see there is a tree and to this tree the customer wanted to hang it a uh, rope and then a tie so that people can play with this okay they can swing and play with this but how the developers and testers have understood the requirement because of the poor communication in few of the traditional projects there may be a possibility of poor communication because uh, communication is not enforced in the traditional projects and rather other technical stuff like uh, technicalities like tools architectures etc given importance, more importance than the communication. Because of that, the these requirements uh, by the customers are not properly understood by the developers and uh, testers, okay, in some cases, in some projects. And uh, because of that, the developers and testers may produce this kind of product, okay? They asked for this and they delivered this. Okay, here also they are tying something to the tree and here also mm, uh, someone has to sit, they may have said, and uh, they have put something to sit, but here, can you swing here? Can you swing here? No, this is just for sitting. But uh, this one is for swinging. What the customer wanted is uh, the children can swing and all those stuff. But here, the uh, team, project team has delivered this one. So which is nothing but a wrong product, okay? The requirements are fine, but uh, communication was a problem because of the proper improper communication, you see? The children cannot swing uh, and uh, this is just for sitting, okay? That's not the intended product. This kind of things may happen in the traditional development, okay? In the traditional development, this kind of things will happen. But coming to the behavior-driven development, how the behavior-driven development is going to overcome this problem? In the behavior-driven development, okay, communication is enforced. Communication is given the hash one priority. Now, compared to other stuff, other technical stuff, the developers generally think like architecture, tools, skills, count of resource, timeline, etc. But here in behavior driven development, communication is given the hash one priority. That is behavior of the application is given the number one priority. Behavior of the application, how the application have to 
uh, have or has to behave, okay, has to work, is communicated as a number one priority. That's why the name name for this development approach is given as behavior driven. Here behavior uh, here development is dri driven by behavior, not by other technical stuff. Okay, so number one priority is given to the okay how the application is going to behave. Okay, so here business team, client side business team, the developers and testers, everyone. Okay, every these three people. Okay, these three people have to communicate. Have to communicate on this behavior of the application throughout the project. These guys are going to communicate this. Okay, throughout the project, the business team, not just in the beginning of the project, but the business team, developers, and testers are giving because communication is enforced. Okay, communication is enforced here on the top of the other stuff, technicalities and other stuff. Hence, business team will communicate the behavior of the application well. Developers will communicate. Okay, what they are developing, they have to communicate in a in the form of behavior format. In that, even testers also. How this will happen, I'll explain. Okay, how this communication uh, can happen on the behavior stuff and everything I'm going to explain, guys. Okay, I'm going to explain in depth. So here, business, developers and testers have to communicate. Here, it's not about... Uh, uh, how good you are writing the test cases, how how uh, how better code you are writing. It's not about that. It's more about how much communication you are having. This business team, developers and testers, if they are not communicating, so that is against the behavior-driven development approach. If they are communicating, then it's, it's according to the behavior-driven development approach. These three people have to communicate and that too they have to communicate in plain English language. Okay? They have to communicate in plain English language, guys, okay? All these three people have to communicate in plain English language. Here also English should be there. Business team testers, business team developers, developers, business team, developers, testers. Everyone has to communicate in which language? English language. You see, developers write the code, application code in which language, Java, Python, something like that, that business team will not understand. But here, testers also will write the automation code in some, uh, using some programming languages like uh, Java and so using some automations automation uh, libraries like Selenium, etc. But here, testers also have to communicate in English. Whatever the automation scripts they have to write, business team need to understand to which uh, to which uh, behaviors the testers are automating, to which behaviors the developers are writing the code. So the communication should be open in English format. How this is all possible? How this communication is given the more importance than other stuff? If the communication is given the hash one priority and if the business team developers and testers are communicating everything in English, then is there a possibility of delivering a wrong product? No. Here, the possibility of delivering a right product is high than delivering a wrong product. Here, the possibility of delivering a wrong product is high when compared to delivering the right product. Okay. But in behavior driven development, since the communication is communication of the behavior of the application is given more importance. Okay, and it's uh, the communication between business developers and testers will happen throughout the project because of the in, in, uh, enforcement of the communication throughout the project. Right product will be developed, delivered. Right product will be delivered. So how the business team, testers, and developers can communicate in English? Okay, how these three people? Okay, here business fine English communication means these requirements are also in English. That's all okay. But developers and testers, how they communicate in English with the business team? That is possible with the help of something known as feature files. Okay. I'll cover more about feature files. Okay. I'll show you how to create a feature file in the next session. Okay. There are a lot of th th things that you have to understand, guys. Feature files, Gherkin, Cucumber, BDD in Agile that you have to understand to get more clarity. But since this is just a high level topic of what is BDD, I'm not going depth here. But I'll show you a high level glimpse of a feature file here. Okay. The, uh, this URL will lead us to the feature file. So where you can see how the how the requirements are communicated by the business team in English, how the developers are going to communicate in English, how the uh, testing team are going to write the test cases or going to write the automation scripts in English. If you can see this one, this is called as a feature file, guys. Okay, feature. What is a feature file? Such feature file. Searching of various categories should be possible along with product search. Who, who will write? Who will create this feature file? Testers will create this feature file. Okay. More details I'll cover in the next session, guys. Okay. How this process will happen between the business team, developers, and testers, I'm going to explain in next session. But uh, for now, just understand at a high level how the communication is happening over English. This is a feature file we call. And here, you see, whatever that is written is in the 
English format, right? And in a more structured format using these keywords like feature, scenario, given, when, and, then, and all the connection. It's not like a paragraph. The English is not in a paragraph format, in a proper structure format. You see here, you can easily understand. Feature search, description of the feature, searching of various categories should be possible along with the product search. Okay, this, this feature file is related to Amazon, for example. Okay, first scenario. This is like a test case, guys. Okay, the testers will write this kind of test case. Search for the products under books category. Using such functionality, users should be able to search for books. Okay, uh, this is a description of the scenario. And uh, given, these are the steps, like test case steps. These are steps written in English. Given I visit the website as a guest user, when I select the books option from the drop down and I click on the search icon button, like test cases, then I should see the books page loaded and I should see books at Amazon as adding. Okay, this is one test case, okay, in Amazon application. Second test case or second scenario you can say in the feature file, search for a product under baby category. Using search functionality, users should be able to search for baby products. Okay, if the testers are writing the test cases like this, can the business team understand? Yes. If automation scripts are also written in the same fashion, the automation scripts are written where feature file is there behind every step some code is written that code is not visible to the uh, is hidden from the business team uh rather business team can simply run the scripts using this feature file if they want okay you see that will be more good right the the code that uh technical code which need to be written in java and uh, selenium need to be written uh, behind every line here but the front facing is the steps you see automation is also in the steps you see how much communication we are doing Right, you'll understand more, guys, in the upcoming sessions when I go deep into the uh, technicalities like practical demonstrations of this Cucumber tool, feature files, Jerkin language, uh, Gherkin language, Selenium automation, Java, and all those stuff. Then you will understand clearly. Okay, till then, try to understand at a high level. This is how the communication happens. Whether the testers are writing the automation scripts, they are going to create the feature files, and beside every line, behind every line, they are going to write the actual automation code. But front facing is this text so that business team can understand what. Automation scripts you guys are working on. So uh, such kind of communication is enhanced here. Here, enforcement is on the communication. Even though you are writing the automation scripts, communication is given the in, uh, kind of uh, high priority so that business team can understand what testers or autom uh, automation testers are actually writing the code for. Okay. So they are not worried about what technical code you have written on the background, but front facing, these are the scenarios you are writing. You are automating the scenarios. The communication is happening in a English guys, business team is communicating in English to the developers and testers, testers are communicating in English to the developers and uh, business team and so on. Okay. Given I visit the guest as a guest user, I select the baby option from the drop down. I click on search icon. You see the steps are also proper in English. I should see the ba uh, baby page loaded. I should see the baby store has heading and more scenarios. Okay. So how the detailed process I'll cover later guys, but for now understand that you have to clearly understand what is BDD guys, behavior driven development. Here development is driven by the behavior of the application. Communication is given more importance than only uh, development can be driven by, okay, behavior, fine. So behavior driven development. Coming to the traditional development, as you already seen, the communication is not given, behavior of the application is not given the hash one priority, but given uh, importance is given, but not the hash one priority is there in traditional development as I already covered. Okay. Here more importance is given to the architecture tools, technicality skills, count of resources, timeline, and all those stuff, technical challenges and all the stuff are given more importance than the behavior, uh, communication of the behavior of the application. But in behavior driven development, behavior of the application is communicated as a hash one priority over the other stuff. And business testers and developers have to communicate more, not just in the beginning of the project. Throughout the project, they are communicating, communicating, communicating because communication is the hash one priority. Communication of the behaviors is the hash one priority over the implementation. Okay. So here, most more probabilities for uh, de delivering the wrong product. Here, less possibility for wrong product and more possibility for right product. Okay. This is what is behavior driven development, guys. Nothing much. Okay. So hope guys, now you understood what is behavior driven development from, from this session. So in the next session, uh, I'm going to go into more reality. Okay. Where nowadays BDD is mostly used in the agile project. Nowadays, most of the projects are agile and uh, how the BDD works in agile, how the process happens. Okay. What the testers will do in this BDD in agile process, what the developers will do, all those stuff I'm going to cover along with the feature files, Gherkin and Cucumber related stuff also in the next session. Okay. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.